All right, alcohol detox day number dose, 21 day detox for sober October. And I will say it is getting easier. I am getting clearer in the mind. Feels good, feels so good. I can feel it all the way down in my plums. There's definitely a shift overall in my energy today from yesterday. Um, so I am, this is day two, but technically it's day three. I'm not gonna say that every fucking time, but I didn't drink Sunday didn't drink Monday, not drinking today, and not drinking for a total of 21 days, 22 days, and whatever, probably more than that. I'm probably gonna push myself all the way to Halloween, and I'm not exactly certain how many days that is, but it's probably like another three or four days on top of the 21 days, whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna have some beverages with my sister, and uh, my, uh, my sister and my brother-in-law for Halloween, and you know, whatever kind of trick-or-treating shit happens, I don't know uh, what the what the rules are with that. I think at least we'll be on the uh, on the driveway and set up some some candy and stuff and do some kind of social distancing thing. And apparently, I'm going to dress up as Uncle Fester because my niece is going to be Wednesday, and I think my brother-in-law is going to be the whoever the whoever the dad dude is. And my my uh, my niece really wants me to be Uncle Fester. And I told my sister, I'm like, I don't have a problem doing that. But I mean, I'm not shaving the beard, and Uncle Fester does not have a beard. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'll be uh, Uncle Fester, the bearded version. Anyhow, enough about that. Um, I, I I don't know I don't know what it is with uh, going to my sisters, but basically, when I go over there, we've always drank and had fun together. They are not alcoholics; they just drink on the weekends. Um, and whenever I've gone over, like for the last, I don't know how many years, that's just what we do. That's what we do. We drink. Now, if I go meet them during the day, if we go to like a hockey game or, you know, do something out around town, then that's different. I'm, you know, you don't have to drink during that, but it's like, and I don't have to drink when I go over there for the evenings and shit either, but it's just, it's just what we do. And I'm, and I know I've said before, I may get to where I don't drink anymore. That's still a possibility, but right now I don't, I don't see see it yet. It could happen, but I don't see it yet, right? So what I do see is hardly any drinking outside of social scenarios. And, you know, not necessarily like if I meet up with someone and we go hang out at the pier or go fishing or something, like that's a social scenario, but I don't have to drink. Granted, in the past, in those days, I know I've gone on, on little fishing excursions and been like, hold on, man, let me get a couple of these deuce deuces for the fishing now. You know, so I don't have to do that and I don't have a desire to do that because what's growing more than ever is how much I appreciate sobriety and the difference between when I drink on a somewhat regular basis or regular basis versus rarely drinking and just the mental clarity that I get and just overall feeling good. Now, granted, as I've said a thousand times, I'll try not to repeat myself too much on these videos, but it's not just the not drinking. If you don't drink and you're sober, but you eat McDonald's and you fucking drink soda and you sit on your ass all the time, you're probably still gonna feel like shit. But if we don't drink and we try to eat clean as, as healthy as possible, we can make little mistakes here and there, but you know, by and by, like grilled meats, vegetables, drink a lot of water, stay away from sodas, fucking do some exercise and don't drink, that's great. And then if we go even further and add on meditation to that, boom, you start feeling real fucking good, right? So, and that's what I like, that's what I enjoy. So I'm gonna do more of that and it's becoming, or it's more and more clear, it's more clear than ever now how important it is to achieve those levels of mind state and how drinking is like a deterrent of that. So anyhow, I know I started out uh, sober September on a positive mental note like this and I was super pumped and then I fucking let it all go and I started drinking occasionally again. Not as bad as it was before, but I was drinking occasionally in the latter half of sober September, but I promise, on all that I love in this world, on the Holy Grail, on karma's soul, God rest her soul, I'm not doing it this time. I'm fucking making it all 21 days and most likely more, most likely more. And then once I drink at my sister's, I'm gonna go right back to sober, sober town. Plus, 
I gotta, I gotta get in better shape, man. I gotta, I can't keep fucking doing this because you know, part of when I drink and shit, I fucking make poor decisions with food at night. Well, some nights I'll, I would drink and I wouldn't even eat, but if I did eat, it'd be like fucking later than normal, like eating at nine thirty and eating a much larger portion than I need and just making poor decisions with food. Um, and then just passing out. So that's, you know, calories from beer, calories from fucking food and just fucking go to sleep. So, you know, I got I got to get back on track and, you know, that's that's one benefit byproduct, one of the benefits byproducts of doing this uh sober, you know, uh sober October detox and 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 not just for the month. There's some people out there that you know, actually, I, know I got a follower that's a good buddy of mine from Atlanta. And I know he watches some of my stuff. And if you are watching this, Cody, appreciate you always being there and supporting. But I know he mentioned he's doing um, Sober October as he does every year. And I think that's great. You know, I think that's awesome. But um, at the same time, you know, I guess it just depends, right? Like, and it's also as we get older too, right? Like when I was, you know, 25, 28, whatever, even early 30s, I could drink like pretty much regularly and, and like still be pretty, you know, pretty active and good, like, and, and get shit done and not be negative Nancy or negative Ned. Um, I'm not Nancy, I'm Ned, just to be clear. But as I've gotten older, it's a completely different toll. Um, and, and it's, I'm sure there's a lot that goes into that. So, you know, if that works for you and you know, another thing too, like, and, and it, Cody, this is not against you. If you're, if you're watching this, it's not against you. Like, I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just, I'm just talking like a, a general term, but you know, for instance, with Cody, like he may not be drinking every night. He might just be drinking on Friday nights and Saturday nights, or even if it's just three nights a week, or two or three nights a week, whatever it is. And he may not be getting drunk. He may just be having a little bit of drink. So sober October is like, you know, it's like, yeah, it makes sense. But for someone like myself during quarantine, who's drinking every fucking day, like, you know, you probably need more than just one month. And in any event, I know I need more than just one month. And if you relate to that, good. If you don't, I hope you find some value in my content. And as always, I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the engagements. And I look forward to uh, showing the path that I'm on and like really fucking making shit happen this time. You're going to see. And if you don't believe, that's fine. Because this train is going to keep going. Chew, motherfucking chew, y'all. you white in me again. you white. You'll be sorry, but your tears will